Hey, what's up everybody? This is Pankaj Singh here. Welcome to our show, Whatever I Know, where I share whatever I know about business, marketing, sales, motivation, and about money. So today we have a very special guest with us, Rachel Ashley. She is a seven-figure entrepreneur. She helps coaches, consultants, and course creators to launch their coaching program and scale their coaching business to six figure right so yeah first of all i just want to say uh, rachel thank you so much for giving your uh, precious time for our show welcome to our show thanks so much for having me i'm excited to share lots of stuff today yeah sure sure so yep uh, i know that your time is very precious uh, right so yep without any further ado so let's start our interview with your permission okay sweet yeah. So, uh, Rachel, uh, please uh, let us know that uh, why did you start your online business? What was your why? Right. Mm -hmm. So can you please uh, tell a little bit a backstory about you? Right. Why did you? Yeah. I mean, I, I think I was lucky enough to just be born in the in the year where as I came into the workforce, online marketing was already very big thing. I was always interested in marketing. So I did go to college for marketing and got an internship at a digital marketing agency. And all I really know is online marketing. So it just, that just kind of happened. Um, but yeah, I was always into sales, sales and marketing. I think maybe I was just, I think sales is a learned skill, but I think it also kind of ran in my family to be entrepreneurial and be a salesperson. So I uh, worked at the agency for a little bit and then I realized like, oh, I could do this myself. You know, I was getting paid $18 an hour and I thought, well, I could just get my own clients and charge more, make more money doing consulting and social media management, building out websites. So then I did that, got into like a lot of done for you work, got really burnt out on the done for you work, moved into e-commerce, moved into affiliate marketing, and kind of really uh, found my passion back in teaching, coaching, consulting. That's, that's really great. So, yep, um, Rizal, uh, can you please uh, tell us that what's your driving force that encourages you to do best in your online business, in your coaching uh, business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I always like to do my best. I know it, nothing is ever perfect. I don't try to be perfect. I don't believe in being perfect, but I think it's important to try to be excellent, to try to strive for excellence, try to do better, not just like me personally make more money or have higher profit margins. Of course, that's important, but to have quality product, to have quality trainings for my clients and to see my clients get better results. And if you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not moving yep. forward, you're moving back. And if you don't strive for growth and doing better that's how you fall into depression and i don't want that yeah perfect perfect so uh Rachel, what's your number one mistake that you did when you started your online business if you don't mind would you like to share with us and yes please also tell us that what number one mistake that other marketers do right that you, you see know. The main thing that I see that and that I did and that you know we all fall into it is not keeping focus on sales. Yeah, yeah. sales, 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 sales. <laughs> um, yes. ca generating cash, making sales, having income coming in. We're like, oh, let me do all the other things. Let me post to my Instagram. Let me try to get more followers. Let me try to grow my group. Get more Facebook friends. Get a new logo, get new branding. And I'm not saying like you don't need branding or you don't need the followers and the audience, of course, but there's no point in getting a ton of followers, a ton of traffic, all this other stuff if you don't have conversions. You can have a very small audience and still make a lot of money. So focusing on sales, the transaction coming in, the money coming in. Good, good. So, um, would you mind that uh, if you say your best strategy that made you click funnels uh, dream car winner super affiliate would you mind to share with your best strategy oh uh, yeah for click funnels for affiliate 
Um, I don't focus on promoting it much anymore. Now how I get affiliate commissions is just mostly my clients. When they sign up for my high ticket coaching program, I'll give them funnel templates that I use and say, sign up with my link. So it's mostly with that. Sometimes I'll give free funnel templates to people who are not my clients. When I was focused on ClickFunnels affiliate, I would give up more templates. I would make YouTube videos, talk about it. I would give a bunch of bonuses, make YouTube videos, give a bunch of bonuses, run different paid traffic. I tried all the different ways. Um, but right now it's mostly just on the back end I'm making commissions. Okay, that's good. So uh, what skill that you would uh, recommend to someone who's new to this online business, right? So what number one skill that you will recommend? I mean, honestly, the best skill for anyone to have all the time, forever, whether it's 1980, 1990, 2000, 2040, whenever, whenever it is, is phone sales, phone sales, yeah. phone sales, selling on the phone, but also yeah. Selling on camera, selling on live stream, doing a yes. sales presentation, kind of like a webinar, but it doesn't have to be with slides. Um, standing up, giving a, a flip chart presentation. Um, I like to do live challenges or just like one hour live streams, two hour live streams, and then selling to many people with your voice. Yeah, perfect, perfect. So uh, what book uh, you will recommend to someone who is new to this online business, right? like somebody who's just starting out, right? And from your side, what book that you will give? Okay, hey, go and read this uh, yeah. this book that will help you. I mean, Russell Brunson's dot-com secrets will help you for online business, online That's business. Good. It will, because it covers so much different types of online businesses. So if you're not sure yeah. what type of online business you want to get into, it will help. Expert Secrets, his other book will help you uh, with personal branding to, to grow your personal brand. That will help you. Got another book, Traffic Secrets, will yep. help you learn traffic. So you can get the whole box set even. You can you can get it with your affiliate link. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So um, from your side, that what advice you will give to someone who is uh, thinking about, uh, you can say, to start his or her online business, right? What advice will you give? I would look around and see what all the options are. Learn the affiliate. Those are the ones I would probably recommend. There's, there's, you could online courses to digital products, but those are more low ticket. You get paid more with consulting. Like I focus on consulting. I think cons yeah. I personally like consulting the most. Uh, coaching and consulting, helping other people. You get paid for your advice and you can get paid thousands of dollars an hour for it. So it doesn't mean you're gonna start right there, but I think there's so much potential with it in building your personal brand and getting into consulting and continuing, like continuously raising your prices for your consulting. But if you don't want, if you wanna do affiliate marketing, you can do that. If you wanna do e-commerce, you can do that. If you want to do other things like network marketing, sure. I just personally have made the most money in e-commerce affiliate and consulting. Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, Rachel, as we know that you have your own program that is uh, Impact. So, can you uh, tell us uh, uh, in brief about what is this and who is for? Yeah. Program? So, I have this program. It's called Impact Business Incubator. And... Some people, when they want to get into online world, they think, okay, I'm going to have an online course or I'm going to do coaching. And what I found to be the best is you combine it. You have yeah. your course plus coaching, then you can totally raise the price. I would sell courses for $97, $500 and not make much money from it. Once I realized I could combine it with coaching, group coaching, then I could really raise the price and then help other people to do that. So I first launched it teaching people marketing, traffic, growing their audience, making sales with whatever business they were in and now it's focused on helping people to launch and scale their own consulting business, their group coaching program. And it's really great. I, I have lots of great trainings. I coach my clients. We have other coaches in the program too. People are getting great results, great masterminding. We keep our eye on the prize. We keep 
foc the focus on sales, but also on excellence of our services and getting our clients results. Like I help my clients to help their clients get results. Yep. And um, we have people in all different niches, people in the business and marketing niche, and then in like real estate investing, but also the health niche. You could get in the health niche, relationship niche, mindset. We got mindset coaches in there. Boy. There's different types of coaching and consulting. So it's for anyone that wants to get paid more for their advice, for their expertise, for helping people, and enroll a lot, a lot of clients into their program, not just be working one-on-one. -on -one. Perfect, perfect. That's great. So, uh, Richard, uh, can you just um, uh, name your website or uh, you can say any link, Facebook group link, course link, that uh, so that we can connect, uh, we, can, uh, yeah. we can find you? Yeah, you you can always just type in Google Rachel Esley, but my website is rachelesley.com. My Facebook is Rachel Esley. Sure. Instagram, Rachel Esley. But if you go on Facebook, then you'll see a link to my Facebook group. My Facebook group is called Six Figure Scaling for Coaches, Consultants, and Course Creators. I go, I do a free live training every single Tuesday. So you can uh, attend that. Sometimes I put the videos up on my YouTube. I don't do YouTube as much as I used to, but um, there's content on there if you want to learn more about what the things that I talk about yeah that, that's great so um, we are into our end of this interview so yes anything from your side that you want to say for our uh, say audience that uh, any advice that you would like to give from your side yeah I mean I guess it's all if, if you're not getting the results that you're trying to get you got to ask yourself is it how how important is it to you how urgent is it to you that's I think a lot of people when they already have full-time jobs they don't feel like they need to take their online business as serious because they're not up against the wall because they already have security of their job so if you really want this to, to be important to you you need to focus you need to set aside time for it you have to take it serious act like you don't have a job yeah act yeah. like this is your only option yeah yeah, and yeah. Um, that that will help you to get more results. Yeah, perfect, perfect. This is one of the best advice that you have given uh, to us, right? So, yep, uh, Rachel, uh, really, I just want to say thank you so much for giving your precious time, sharing your knowledge, sharing your expertise with us. Really, I just want to say thank you so much for giving your precious time. Thank you for having me, and yeah, I hope to see you guys in the yeah. Facebook group where I've got lots more. Yeah. Sure.